more a secret. has taken to closing the shop at 6.30 in the evening. Yes, indeed. I will make you squirm yet. You listen to me. Stop shouting at us. What are these 30 minutes to you? You're home all day long doing nothing, just looking out the window and gossiping all day, while Niyuta needs to milk her goat and also feed know, the chicken. What's this? Are you her advocate or something? Verka, let's go. Don't okay, mess with her. Okay, let's go. She decides to close the shop at 7 in the evening, hello, like hello. an animal. I can't stand it, and she must stick to the schedule. I'll write a complaint about her. Have you flown off the handle, huh? Get out of here, you old uh. witch. If I hear that you're going to write a claim again, believe me, I'll let my chicken into your garden in the summer. Do you hear me? Uh, if you do that, I will wring their necks. You can count on that. Oh, yeah, sure you will, huh? Hey, I'm a respectable woman. I'll find justice, and then I will show you. Frankly speaking, Niuta, you've saddened yourself with everything, and you're not going to get rid of this burden. Niuta, the guys being unattended is no big deal. It's so common. Oh, Marinka, every family does that? Uh, well, thanks a lot, my friend. <laughs> Was that about me? Marinka, don't get offended. Why would you think that? Ugh. I guess that's it. Well, but all those women tell me that I should bear metier till doomsday, you know, and tolerate his drinking bats. And also have sick children with him. Oh, now don't listen to them. Who would blame you? You're beautiful and manage our poultry farm. You're sure to get married and have kids. Yeah. <laughs> get married. Who's the lucky guy then? It's clear that every good man's already oh. married. Woo, be careful. <laughs> and those men, like Mathieu, what do I need them for, huh? I'm gonna get Am you. I to trade bad for worse? <laughs> oh, dude, I'm You should stop now. talking nonsense. I wish I could have some kids for myself. We're walking here, kids. Move it. Hey, I'm gonna get them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite a lady. Well, what do you think about Pavel Miranov? He's a farmer and well off, and not like your weakling police officer. What's his name? Who cares? Oh, your holiness. Hello. But why a weakling? He looks nice even though he doesn't have a home and lives at the police station. Oh, well, that's true. But take a closer look at Miranov. He nope. may be old. What for? Miranov is... Uh, Hello? <laughs> Miranov is a serious man, but listen. He, he told me that in a few years he was going to buy all our agricultural sector. Well, rumor <laughs> has it, it that he'll get rich. That doesn't buy happiness for you. But they don't see people. I'm afraid his kind only sees money. That's what I'm talking about. You understand. I can earn money myself, of course, but this penny pincher, he counts every coin. Who would want a stingy man? Oh, I could marry your Sasha. Sasha still right. behaves like a kid. <laughs> <laughs> he's 25 already, and he's still a scatterbrain. Oh. How can Semyon stand him? Well, what choice has he got? I brought him up. His parents died in a car crash. I was both a mother and a father. At first, they Hello seemed there. okay together. Hello. But when they started working together, they had some complicated fight. I don't know. Goodbye, my friend. I'll see I'll you. I'll see you. Oh. Vavka! Dimka! Come on! <laughs> Listen, Gray. Stop whining. I'm coming now. Are you hungry? Oh. Show her your great book. She won't notice anything anyway. Uh-huh, but then she'll ask me about it, and then what? Okay, let's tell Dad or she'll start shouting at us. Uh-huh, but do you think Dad won't tell her anything? 
You're to blame and I'll get in trouble. Are you going to squeal on me or what? What's going on in here? Hmm? Mom, our class teacher has asked you to come to school. She says that she needs to have a talk with you. Winter break ended less than a week ago. What does she want to talk to me about? Well, we wanted to feed the fish, but then somehow... We accidentally dropped a frog in the fish bowl. All right. Well, here we all are as usual. Nyuta, don't torture them, huh? We're all guilty of bad grades, right? Semyon, you need to go and talk to their teacher. I've had enough of this. Oh, but why do I have to go? Are our kids so terrible? Why are you both so dirty? Okay, now get out of here. We'll talk later. Semyon, what was all that? You need to be more strict with them. I didn't like that at all. Both father and mother drink and do nothing else. Shall I do the same? Or shall they grow up unattended? I drop it, would you please? You know that boys will be boys. They will always fool around and play. Would you stop freaking out? They didn't kill anybody. That's comforting. Take this. You're always pretending not to hear me. I sometimes think you don't care about us. I didn't hear you. Are we about to have a fight? I don't have time for this. <sighs> Now you listen to me. Your man has come home from work and is hungry. <laughs> You'd better give me something to drink and set the table. No, 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 I have to make dinner. Semyon! <laughs> you treat your brother better than me. I hope you know that. Sasha, again? And what has he done this time? He's done nothing, of course. <laughs> okay, you troublemakers. Tell me, where exactly did you take the frog from anyway? From the nature corner. Dad, why call us troublemakers? Come on, we didn't know the frog would eat up all the fish. It was swimming on the surface. We thought that the fish was hungry, that's all. <laughs> you just thought they were hungry. And where oh. are your manners? I told you not to answer that way. Well, okay, don't Take some angry. bread. In my opinion, the fish got what was coming to them. So are you full? Go and do your homework, then. I need to talk to your mother. Wait, they haven't had enough to eat. They're okay. Why do they always listen to you? They never listen to me. That's because I'm a man. And my word is everything. <clears throat> now tell me how long we'll have to cover up for your Sasha. <sighs> Don't act like you can't hear me. You should calm down. But it's not my fault he won't listen. You know, I beat the hell out of him today. Why? He drained all the diesel fuel again. You understand, if he had been caught in this whole process, he would have been disgraced for sure. They'd say your brother was a thief. And then they'll say that you're a thief too then. A guy just arrived from a logging company. A recruiter from Siberia. Let your brother go to Siberia. He can go with him. Semyon, he is my brother. Oh, who cares about that? What is all this mess about, huh? <laughs> hey, haven't you had enough today? Or maybe you were trying to have a talk with Diomen. Moseying up to Diomen is your thing, not mine. He must pay what? me, and he's always promising to. Now stop it. Come sit. Sit down here. He's absolutely right. You'll end up in jail. Did I teach you how to act this way? What are you saying? I drained nothing. Yes, you did. Diomen is always delaying my payment. That bastard takes advantage of the fact that there's no other work. That's why he strings us along. Spare parts disappeared, and there's no money. I drain the fuel. And your guy? <laughs> He's a yes man. Am I supposed to put up with him? That's enough. Semyon said some recruiter just arrived. It's for logging. So what? Well... What's so special about this company? Get off my back, I'm not going. Let Semyon try to earn a fast buck for once. I'm doing all right here. <sighs> this house belongs to you and me. If he doesn't like it, then let him go. Shut up!
Mm hmm. Tanya, be sure to give the small change to your mother. You don't have to tell me. Good afternoon, Niuta. Oh, hello, Pavel. Hello. Hello. Uh, I need some washing powder. Well, you know the one I mean. Oh, sure. And the last time I ordered drill bits uh -huh. for my drill. Okay, here you are. Oh, Niuta, you never forget anything, do you? You're a good manager. <laughs> here. I appreciate it. I do very much. Here. The drill bits went up to 17, not 14. How come? They used to cost 14. Well, I wouldn't know. I don't set the prices. I don't understand the people. They live in the village and decide to buy all their milk in a different shop. I'm talking all kinds of, like, buttermilk as well, huh? And don't forget sausage. Soon they'll buy potatoes from Israel, huh? <laughs> they don't want to do anything themselves. Hello there, Pavel. Oh, hello yourself, sir. Hi, Niyota. Hello. Hello. I've come to see you. There's a complaint filed by Polyunova. Hey there, girl. Oh, this creep over here, huh? Hello. Hello there, Captain. <laughs> Tell me, is the police used to believing all those idiots over decent people like us? Huh? Marinko, what's your full name? Alexevna. Alexevna. I'm supposed to respond to every complaint. Uh, uh, that includes the anonymous ones. Thank can you. you explain to me what's going on? Or shall I listen to this garbage? Will you listen? I'll expect you tomorrow at the police station at 10 o'clock to check the facts. Mm -hmm. At 10? Yeah. At 10, I open the shop, and before, I must feed my family breakfast, understand? Well, put up a notice that the shop opens at 12, and that's it, okay? Don't dictate what I need to put up and when I have to open the shop. Mm. I have too many bosses. Well, all right, then. I'll summon you, okay? All right? Go ahead and do that. I have nothing to fear. We're not... Oh, uh, Niuta, uh, tell me, do you have a lunch break later? From one to two. So come during lunch. I'll be waiting. Indeed. Ha! What a piece of work! A police officer, where did he come from, by ill luck? <sighs> <laughs> oh, Bubble, don't frighten us like that, come on! <laughs> my heart sank into my boots, oh. Hello, oh my gosh, I didn't see you at all. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. <clears throat> Hello there. It's always a pleasure. <clears throat> um, uh, and as for the police officer, I managed to get some information on him. He asked to be transferred here. His wife dumped him, and he was eager. Eager to leave everything he had to her. Can you imagine that kind of treatment in your life? Well, so what? He was right to do that. That's a real man's act. Uh, Pavel, wait. Do you need anything? Huh? No, no. That's it. But thank you. See you later. Mm hmm A uh, Marinka. Hmm? Uh, do you think I could walk you home? And why would you do that? <laughs> Don't I know the way home or what? <laughs> uh, I just wanted to talk to you for a bit is mm. all. Uh, well, I, can I offer you some tea? Mm. Or is it inconvenient? Why inconvenient? I like to do what I want. Yeah? I hope you'll offer me tea with sugar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wait a minute, it's too early to go home. So do you think you could give me a ride to the sawmill for a second? Yeah. <laughs> you have a car, don't you? Sure thing. <laughs> we can have a little talk. <laughs> yes, of yes. course. After you. Oh, oh. Hmm? thank you. Oh. Marinka, look, I need to know your opinion. Oh, you it's are so slippery. The manager of the poultry farm, right? <laughs> well, go on and ask me what Hello you want, there. then. Hello. <laughs> Be careful oh. now. Thanks. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Hello, Pavel. Hi. I bid good day to all capitalists everywhere. Hello there. <sighs> you know what? <sighs> I'd like to set up a poultry house, but just for the summer, huh? Times are hard. Who knows what'll happen in the poultry? Well, what about it? Pavel, frankly speaking, I wouldn't recommend it. You will see for yourself. You can't compete with the big farms with chickens. You won't have the needed tools to keep the prices low enough. Okay. Yeah.
You won't sell too many of them on the market, and procurers are not interested in small amounts. So, Pavel, I don't see much sense. What about <clears throat> ostriches? Ostriches? <laughs> well, I don't know. You won't get a chance to raise them. They will conduct constant checks, and the locals will steal or poison them because people here don't like those who show off. I understand. Thank you for such a detailed answer. Marinka and your ex-husband, uh, Dimitri, has he left for long or is he planning on coming back? I'm curious about your situation. Dimitri? Mm-hmm. Well, nobody knows, but if he comes, I won't see him. I see. That's clear. Pavel, what does that have to do with you, huh? Tell me, please. <laughs> Nothing, really. <laughs> Niuta, <gasps> did I scare you? <sighs> Shurka, what do you want? You're trying to shop? A few packs of cigarettes, the cheap ones. What cigarettes? Have you started smoking? Oh, don't tell anyone, please. My teeth have started aching in the evening. They hurt so much. And our father always used cigarettes as a remedy for teeth. What teeth do you mean? And I've closed the register and locked it and switched on the alarm and everything. I'm sorry, but I can't help you with your issue. Come oh, back tomorrow. Great. Well, fine then. I'll just deal. Oh, that's so funny, really. Take a look. It's already clear who the murderer is, but they'll beat around the bush for the next two episodes. Semyon, could you be uh, a bit quieter? The kids are asleep. Why should I watch that kind of militia violence? It's not militia, it's the police. Listen now. Why have you had enough of them? A new police officer came by the shop today. Old woman Polyanova filed a complaint. I have to go to the station tomorrow. Well, I'll go and beat the hell out of Polyanova for you. That old witch is still so good at writing denunciations. You know what, though? Drop it, and don't go there at all. He said he'd summon me in this case. What could she have written about? That I closed one hour earlier? That's not her business. I'll just open an hour earlier tomorrow, and that's it. Well, then do what you want. I think I'll go and feed Gray. Semyon, when you go to work, don't forget to throw away the fir tree. Why do you care so much about it? Okay, I'll throw it away. Listen! Switch off that awful music! If you don't care about us, think of the kids! We can't even sleep! Why don't you just shut up? I live in my own house and not at my wife's, man. It's us who are sick and tired of your show. Same thing every evening, the news at some stupid TV series every night. Why don't you do some house repairs? You never do anything. You're not some prince, no matter what you think. Everything in this house was earned, earned by Niuta, and you are nothing. You shut oh. your mouth. <laughs> You're gonna regret that. My god, that's enough. Can't you just live in peace? No, not as long as this guy's around. Sasha, be quiet. Semyon has the same rights here as you and me. He's my husband. Go to bed. Semyon! Stop it, the kids are asleep. Little punk. Dahlia. Hello, Nyuta.
They just smashed the latch. Yes, yes. So what are we to do now? How do I know? Ask oh my me goodness another. gracious! But what happened to the alarm? Oh! 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 Come on! I can't handle anything. Come on! Come on! Hold on! Freeze and stay where you are. I'll handle it myself. Commanding officer. Oh no! Oh! Semyon, darling, it's awful! I got robbed! No! The door was open and the lock was broken! I don't know how it happened, just please come here! How am I to go to the police station? I can't leave the shop like this, you know, Semyon, come on! Oh. Hey, Nyuta, call that police officer. Come on, call him. How can I do that? I don't remember his phone number. Well, I don't know. I can run to the station and tell him. Yes, please. That's it, ladies. Oh. Ladies, I'm leaving. I'm going there right now. I'll bring Yuri here. Come on, let's go. Too much pushing and jostling. It's terrible. Oh. <laughs> sure, your You remember uh -huh. my cigarettes? Can you believe they took them? Everything. But canned food is the only thing you need. There were plenty of goods here. I saw them myself, of course you know. I tell you, some strangers must have done this. The locals are unlikely to have done it for sure. Okay, clear the way. What are you doing here? What happened here? Clear yeah. the way, ladies. What happened, You're Yuri? Coming. In there, my friend needs my Marika, help. you can't go in. But tell I us said you can't go on. in here. Stay. Goodness. Why are you still here? You'll destroy the fingerprints. So what's there? Have they taken everything from the shop? Was it you who did it, you old viper? How dare you say that? You will show me respect or else. So what's still inside? Nothing's inside. Everything was stolen. And now the police are here on the case. Oh my. Let's hope. Yeah, they'll examine the place, I'm sure. Oh. There might be some clues in there. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Where are you off to? Do you like scaring me to death? I didn't mean to, but I'm not as scary as a wolf, you know. Well, I don't see any difference. <laughs> Let's go. Niuta, tell me, who's the owner of the shop? <gasps> oh gosh, I forgot! I forgot to call Mr. Borodichev! Who is he? Director of the Albatross, the company, Borodichev. Borodichev. Uh, and does the alarm work? Yes, of course it does. I always... Oh! Switch it on! What else did you touch? I didn't touch anything. I came and saw that everything was scattered and the cash register was empty. Okay. How much money did they take? 54,816 rubles. That's I had a lot. it written down. 54,000. What else did they take? A cassette recorder with the radio we used to listen to. And here there were four bottles of vodka and beer. Also, also, three cans of the stew from the back. A jar of pickled cucumbers is broken. I need to check and count everything. I didn't check the fridge in the storeroom. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Who could have done it? Oh, what am I to do now? You need to help! Oh, it's Semyon! Would you just call me down, here. man? Jeez! Oh, Semyon! Oh, really? <gasps> Well, this Listen, sure is a sight. I need you to leave the shop, okay? How can I leave the shop right now? They robbed my wife, you know. Nyuta, have you called Borodachev yet? I haven't had time. Mr. Oh. Lyubimov, we are conducting intense investigative actions here right now, and you are interfering. Fine, then. I guess I'll call him myself, then. Okay. Okay, give me the phone. Oh, here. <laughs> Anyway, my comrade, Captain. 
You won't find the guilty ones, and Yuta will have to pay. Don't you think I know that? Why will we have to pay? Who else is going to? Hello? Yeah, hello. But why am I to blame for this? <laughs> hmm? took them to the neighbors. They're playing computer games. Oh. Did you feed them? Yeah, I fed them. What took you so long? There were many questions, and then we went to the police station. And he... <sighs> drafted a protocol, and then my boss came by. And what did he say? He said... The alarm didn't go off because I didn't turn it on. He will deduct this amount from my salary until I pay everything. Oh, that's great. Are you sure you turned on the alarm? I did, I did. I always turn it on, yet how could I prove it? Misery loves its company. We'll manage somehow. Sasha will help us. Your Sasha won't help. He's good for nothing for real. But you're no better than him, and you can't even pound in a nail. You still haven't even thrown away the fir tree yet, have you? I can always count on you to remember the same old crap, huh? Anybody home in there? Oh, great. Just what I need. Uh, hi. Look, I won't stay very long. Have you come here to mock me? No. To apologize. New to forgive me, please. I was so stupid earlier. I didn't want to invite any kind of disaster, and now I'm afraid. God knows I didn't. I wrote that complaint out of mere spite. Oh, and now I feel guilty. I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. Oh, you're feeling bad. Can you really feel anything at all? Oh, dear, you're not one to judge me. That's not your place, young man. Do you hear? I didn't come to you, so mind your tongue. I'm here for new Aunt Glasha, please wait. I don't hold a grudge. I really don't. Oh, uh, I thought that you didn't remember my name. Thank you for saying that. I do appreciate that. Well, I must go now. Mm -hmm. Goodbye to you. I'm leaving, my darling. I'm leaving. Ugh. Look at that. Polyanova has become a human. You shouldn't open your mouth if you don't know anything. Look, she was the first to help us when our parents died. She's angry, yes, that's for sure. Yet her life is far from easy. Ah. Oh, have you forgotten something? I came to take my tools. Got an assignment at the factory. From Marinka, that's why I came. <coughs> I'm glad you've come. I didn't want Simeon to hear. Do you have some extra cash? I wanted to ask for some money. The holidays are coming and I need to buy some presents. Are you nuts? <coughs> we'll do it without presents. I gave you everything. You know, Dioman gives nothing but promises. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Doesn't your husband want to be able to get the money to provide? <sighs> it's difficult to find a job. Okay, I have to go. Goodbye. Uh, do you have sausage, the cheapest kind? We do. How much would you like? Three pieces and throw in two loaves of bread. And a bottle of vodka, the cheapest one. Here's two loaves of bread. Furka, you buy a lot of vodka. Oh, sure, because ear is aching. That's for the application. 740. 740? Mm. Listen, Niyuta, I have 100 less. So may I bring it tomorrow? 
Varka, don't forget to bring it tomorrow. I need to make account sales. Half the money okay, is already on hold. I promise I'll bring it by. Yes. Listen, Nyota. Hmm? Did that cop come by yet? Did they find anyone guilty? Who can that weakling find? He's been getting on my nerves for a month already. Asks about everything and searches around. I guess he thinks I stole the goods. Really? Why on earth would you do that? Do you think I would be capable? Oh, I hope you know that's not what I meant. Sorry. Hello, Niuta. Oh! Hello. Hello. I need to go. Shirka's waiting Hello, for Yuri. me. Hello, Yuri. Here again? <laughs> Goodness, what else did I forget to tell you, huh? Honestly, I'm here to buy some food. I thought you came to question me. What would you like? Something sweet, uh, like some tea biscuits. I have some inexpensive biscuits here. That's perfect. How much? The total's 70. Here you are. I just saw that you have something like a club here. You're always the first to hear the news. Do you happen to know if uh, some outsider has turned up in the village? Oh, it's the questions again. What outsider? Look, I haven't heard anything. And this shop is in the outskirts. Outsiders don't come here. You didn't understand me. It's just that I have a statement that somebody broke into the store, and that's why... Is that what this is? I haven't heard that somebody broke in. Muta! Oh, hello. Oh, hello there, officer. Hello yourself. <sighs> Muta, close the shop and run home. Your husband has gone nuts. Semyon and Dioman had a big fight, and he filed a letter of resignation. So, so now he's going to go to Taiga. Stop standing like that. He's leaving. Are you serious? Now just get on home. Dioman said he would pay in a couple of weeks, and your <gasps> husband started shouting at him. Stop screwing over the people, and grabbed him by the lapels. <sighs> Yeah, and then the recruiter turned up out of the blue, so Semyon signed all the papers and went home to pack his things. Oh, and he's goodness probably gracious. there again. Oh. Hey, where are you going in such a hurry? Semyon, oh, kids. are you hey. are you going crazy? Okay? It's you who is crazy. You gave all of your salary back to the owner and for no reason at all. And this bastard Dioman won't pay. What are you talking about? Listen, you better pack the suitcase for me. I'm out of here. But where are you going? None of your business. I'm sick and tired of it, and I can't live like this anymore. With that bastard Dioman. With your half-wit brother, huh? This isn't a life. You have to understand. This isn't life? What about me? And what about the kids, then? So you don't care about us? Is that it? I've been in charge since I was 15. What did you tell me when you proposed to me, huh? Don't ever be afraid, Niuta. I'm sick and tired of your Sasha. When I'm there, I'll start sending you money. So far, you can take my salary from Dioman. You'll get by. Oh, come on, don't you be so hasty. If you want to leave, then you will. Why make such a hasty decision? Why make such a hasty decision? What does it have to do with you? If you've come to be a nag, keep your mouth shut. Hey, where are you headed, huh? Quiet, quiet, You're calm a fool. down. Are you running from troubles that you started, what? huh? Shut your mouth before Send I shut it for you. Stop it. You had nothing. And now, as far as I can see, huh, you can't even what? grab your things into a suitcase. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Where and Come why? Here. Oh, They're wait, fighting wait, in there. Jeez. Wait, calm down. Hush, They're going to hurt each other. The police officer has arrived. It's about Come time on, to show up. Finally. Yes. Maybe he can Thank stop Thank God them. you're here. Yeah. They've been fighting get a handle and on them, a would commotion. You? Please, yeah. make them stop. Yeah, get a oh, handle on them, all right? Please stop yelling. And you. Why were you silent? Huh? Me? You were just standing there. Calm down, you guys, okay? Calm down. This is just a silly game that grown-ups like to play. Semyon, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! You will stop that right this minute! Enough! Stop that immediately! Oh, comrade police officer. Has somebody called you? Did one of the neighbors file a complaint? Semyon, we all know the neighbors didn't have time for that. I guess the police officer has caught the thief and came here to tell us. Listen, Yuta. I guess comrade... The comrade captain has come to our going away party. You know, we have a tradition. It's kind of like a game. We try out strength against each other, you see. Ah. <laughs> so you like to bust up tables when you're bored. It's a little tradition for us. Uh. Well then, 
Have a safe journey. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd better go now. I have a lot to do. You're leaving, right? I am. I am Marinka, as you can see. Okay, have a safe journey. Call me if anything. <laughs> I wish you all the best. Yeah, yeah. You look like a grown-up, yet you behave like a dumb child. Well, I can't be serious all the time, Marinka. I saw you, and I thought you might invite me to your place. What's the reason? For no reason. In a neighborly mm. way. Maybe you could give me some coffee or something more stiff. <laughs> For a stiff one, you should have bought rejuvenating apples and not waffles. Well, Niuta, the quiet winner has finally come to an end at last, so it's work again. From dawn to dusk, like we always do. We'll see ground frost, I'm sure. Oh, no. Winter is not like a winter anymore. And we, the hardworking farmers, we don't live according to the calendar. Like cows and calves, our lives go on. <laughs> uh huh. Hey, Niura, could I walk you home if you don't mind? I'm on foot today. My car is still at the shop. Okay, you can if you want. Mm -hmm. Are they going to supply quilted jackets to your shop? The men at my farm demand some workwear. I mean, that only makes sense, you know. Well, no, I don't think they are. We had jackets in stock. Down jackets with polyester lining. I could order them for you. No, those with polyester linings are too expensive and wear out too quickly. <laughs> they're not worth it. Oh. And they're not efficient. The quilted jackets, they're better for work. We don't have those in stock. Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a question. Uh, has your spouse been gone for a long time? I don't remember. For one year or more, I think. No. Uh, uh, are you able to manage? Oh, it gets difficult. And the boys are in that wild stage. Yes, it's difficult to do without a father, and more so with boys. And, um, do you have enough money? I could help you. Oh, Pavel, no, but thank you. I'll manage somehow. I asked myself who was walking here hand in hand like a pair of lovebirds. <laughs> Hello to you, my friend. Hello, Pavel. Hello. Hello. Come Hello. to my place. I wanted to talk to you. I have no time. Too much to do. Oh. Well, have a good evening, yeah? Hmm. I'll see you. Oh, Pavel, happy belated birthday. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. I feel awkward. Did she get offended by something? I don't know what we did. Well, here people gossip for no reason at all. Come on, what would people have to gossip about? I'd better go, Pavel. Thank you for seeing me home. Sure. All the best to you and goodbye. Ah, <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> now what, Marinka? Did he let you down or something, darling? And just what do you mean by that? I mean that this farmer has let you down, dear. <laughs> Are you talking about Niuta? <laughs> It's so easy to deceive old women, Funny, right? funny, you don't deceive me. Long life, comrade police officer. She has a relationship with that cop, and Pavel is just some kind of cover. No, but you should learn to lie better. Oh, really now? Then why does he interrogate her every other day, huh? What? He goes to her place himself. I saw it. Why is he paying off the debt if they still haven't found the criminals? Do you wonder? And why did he come at once when Semyon was going to leave? Couldn't he wait for him to get out of town? Look, you had better keep your mouth shut. Uh-huh. Ah! A chatterbox. <sighs> why did I say that? <sighs> Uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's okay. She had to know. She can't have it all. I just didn't know what to think. Oh, the connection is bad there? Uh-huh. How are you doing? Semyon, when will you send the money? How come? They're delaying the payment there? And what shall I do? I don't know where I'll get money. May I? Yes, uh, okay. Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to you soon. Hello, Yuri. How are you? Hello, Niuta. I wanted to talk to you. Is that all right? Of course you can. We talked many times, though it's in vain. Yes. Maybe you should drop this inquiry? Well, come inside. Until when are you here? Well, what time do you finish work? Go to your uncle's room and watch cartoons. Well, Mom, the TV is small in there. Stay here, then. Come in, Yuri. It's fine. Uh, well, thank you. Why are you still here? Shall I repeat myself? Go to another room. Here? Yes, just sit down, please. Go ahead with it. Niuda, tell me, has anything strange happened in your shop lately that you may have noticed? Again with this. Strange, you say? Nothing strange, everything is fine. Well, as a clever person, you may have noticed something unusual there, perhaps. <laughs> what a thing to say. <laughs> I haven't noticed anything. <laughs> well, maybe somebody has bought or tried to order something unusual lately? They haven't. But at the same time, I can't be too sure. Shurka Matrasova came to buy her cigarettes. She said her teeth were aching, and that her dad had smoked in such cases. She had always been strange. Oh, and Verka Matrasova bought a lot of cheap sausage and loaves of bread and, uh, well, and... Well, tell me, these two sisters, have they been living together long? I don't remember. Maybe. Hmm. Verka was married. Her husband died. They didn't have kids, and Shurka was never married. Well, well, it's easier to live together. And then they took Valya, and I can say they became a family. Well, that's how I imagined it. Ah, uh, who's this Valya? Oh, well, that's the son of their cousin from town. 
His parents drank hard, and they took him in, and they raised him as if he was their own and loved him. And he... Well, like father, like son in this case. He was sent to jail for robbery. Wait, is this Valya the same man as Valentin Korovin? Well, Korovin, Korovin, yes. Nira, you helped me a lot. How? What are you talking about? Thank you very much. I'll be seeing you. Yes. Oh, and please close the gate. Yes, of course. Hello? Hello. Hello? Hello. Dinner is almost ready. That's for you. Because oh. I finally got paid. Mm-hmm. So fear not, sis. We'll get by. Oh, did they pay you more than usual? <laughs> I decided not to keep any pocket money. <sighs> did they give you Semyon's salary? Huh? Did they give you Semyon's salary? <sighs> Nuta, you know. Semyon called Diomen the other day. Asked him to transfer the money to his card. Well, and Yeoman, he did it. Hmm, like that? Yes. I see now. Why was that cop here? To question me. Oh, I see. <gasps> what have I done now? Oh, what shall I do now? Yuta. Oh. Darling, please forgive us if you can, dear. It was our Valya who robbed you, do you understand? He wanted some vodka, and then he took the cash from the cash register. He's been on the booze ever since that night. The police officer came, and, he's and they rounded him up, and that's it. The sentence will be harsher than last time. Did the neighbor see it? No, I don't <laughs> think anyone saw it. We live on the outskirts. Now listen, Niuta. The cops said we we're responsible. And now the two of us are his accomplices. <laughs> and he said we would have to give all of the money back to you. Where would we even find My that dear, money? My dear, we couldn't give him up, you understand? We couldn't. He was released from prison, Arvalia. He's a beast now. We are afraid of him, you know? How could we give him up? And we don't have this money, dear. They'll send We've us never to prison. So they will for sure. Maximich, take the rooster. Well, where can I take it? Where? Do you know? Take where it. Where can I find 500? Take it. Give me 300. 300 sounds much better. Hello. Okay, there. take it. She says the rooster how costs 500. Oh, Should well. I get it? Hello there. How are you? Come on, take okay. it. Oh, That's hello there. All right, all aren't right. you going to open the shop today? Oh, right, you right, close right. it early in the evening. And you aren't going to open it. Now, some of us have to buy things. I must go to the police station urgently. Wait a bit and I'll be back to open up. Don't you tell me what to do. Go run to your station. Maybe together with your cop you could find someone who's decent enough to open a shop for us. Yeah, thank you. That Marinka. She turned out to be right. What a tart. <laughs> Sorry for my appearance, but come in. Please, come in. In here? Sure, of course. Come on in. Uh, 
I'll be right back. I'll be back in a minute, okay? You, you know, I wanted to invite you, and you came by here yourself. Just a moment, excuse me. Oops. Come on in. Whew. I have some good news. We've caught the robber. And by the way, uh, the damages will be uh, compensated. Okay, here we go. That's actually what I really wanted to talk to you about, if you have the time. Go on. I wanted to... come ask you about the Matrasovs. Don't initiate a case against them. And... and as for the money, I'll... discuss it with them and... we will just settle it. But I can't. They confessed they had harbored the criminal that they had known who had committed the crime. And that's obstruction of justice. And Corvin acknowledged the offense as well, so... Yuri, but please, you must do something. Am I a fool? I'm not a fool, I understood. It was me who sold out Shurka and Verka. How could I live with that? Take your protocol and tear it into pieces. Well, why not? Valya is in prison and he confessed. Look, you're a hero. He'll never rat out his aunts. He'll take the blame himself. They're not to blame at all. Have mercy on them. It's the right thing to do. Neoda, look. Do you want to lose your money because of this Valya? We'll have his aunts compensate for everything. We have to... They don't have any money at all, though. And now all this. Do you really want me to commit a misdemeanor just to help your neighbors? You can call it whatever you want. It's just an act of kindness. You are working in a village now. And people are different here. They won't forgive you for that. If they learn about it. All in all, you need to make up your mind, Mr. Police Officer. Okay, goodbye now. Nira. Could we have some tea? Mm, I don't know. I... I could have some tea. My throat is dry from being nervous. Yet, I need to hurry and open the shop. Otherwise, someone might want to... to, uh... write another complaint. <laughs> I can give you a ride. Well, I'm ready when you are. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down oh, death you. by death. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those in the tomb is still in that was Yes. Christ is oh, risen from so the gorgeous. dead, Gorgeous. trampling yeah. down death by Glory death. Glory be unto you. Oh, those in the tomb is showing light. Give me your blessing. Give me your blessing. Today is a good so day. Flower flower life still. Why are you changing? The price is every day. Don't you have enough money by now? Have you started stealing? I wouldn't be surprised if you were. The cop is in on it. Shut your dirty mouth already. All you do is gossip and start nonsense. Don't be standing like that. Come Ugh. on. Show yourself to your mother. Hello. It's good to see you. Hello, Maria. What happened? Indeed. Oh, Christ has risen. He has. I couldn't let them go home alone or the fight would have never stopped. Trust me on this. So I had to bring them here. I get it. I know the reason for the fight. Yet. Just let them tell you. Be sure to tell your mother what happened. Goodbye now. Goodbye and thank you, Maria. See you later. Okay. What was it about? Who did you fight with? 
Tell me what the reason was, Vavka. I can't tell you. What was the reason for the fight today? The other kids are calling us fatherless. Shut your mouth! Why should I be quiet? They say that our mother goes... What? That she goes out with everyone, both the police officer and the farmer. <sighs> Mom, stop crying. We both know they are lying. It's all cause of him. It's cause of who? Your Semyon, of course. He dumped you just like that. That's it. And you pretend it's not true? It's foolish. He doesn't call you or write to you, hasn't sent any money. Robbed you of the last payment? Now everyone's talking about you now, huh? Do they talk? They sure do, Nyuta. I know, I've heard, but there's nothing I can do. Nyuta, look, I want you to tell me straight. Are you with the farmer and the officer? Listen, where do you live? Here in this house? Do you know how I live? Where's the farmer? Where's the cop? I'm struggling here. I'm so tired of you, all of you. Nyuta. Nyuta. <sighs> Marinka. I'd almost lost any hope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and who has amorous plans with Niuta? Everyone discusses it. What are you saying? If I hadn't walked with her then, you would still be ignoring me. Uh, thank you. I tried to flirt with you, and you were always hurrying somewhere, weren't you? <laughs> I took her arm on purpose. It was to tease you. I hope it worked. I tried my best, uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. So you're not some <laughs> Casanova? Do you know how angry I got? My dear, forgive me. Okay, let's drink to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well to you. Ah, well thank you. Because <laughs> after all, you're the birthday boy. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, oh, you know Niuta is having an affair. Uh -huh. The affair is with the police officer. The one from our village. People, they gossip about things that never happened, especially about dumped women. Pavel, she didn't get dumped, hmm? Her husband left to earn money. Half the men here do the same thing, so what's the issue with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To earn some money. I couldn't care about what he earned. Dioman told me long ago that Semyon had called him and asked to have his salary transferred to the card instead. He doesn't really care about his wife or his children. The next musical guest for tonight is our dear hero of an anniversary mm. and his beautiful Ooh. companion. So a song Ooh. about love. <laughs> Let's greet our guest, if you please. Mm. Well, thank you. Oh, are you excited? Franka, oh. would you like to dance? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay. Mm. Smells like menthol cigarettes oh. here. <laughs> Can you breathe? Oh, God. Yeah? Oh, my God. I just can't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so tell me, did he really dump her? Tell me the truth. Oh, well, she is clueless then and is waiting on him. I think she already knows. I feel bad for her. She was left without a husband and money. Oh, Pavel. You men are all the same. M Marinka, you're wrong. I'll show you and you'll see. Mm -hmm. Marinka, Gosh, please. No, no, no. Stop it. Pavel, we're not alone. May I come in now? Uh, sure. Your dog is untied out there. <gasps> oh, great! How did you pass him? Oh. He doesn't allow strangers to pass. I'll tie him up now. Come in. Uh, don't worry about it. We, uh, sort of became friends. Uh, just wait a second.
that's it. I tied him up. So what happened? I don't really know how to begin. Uh... Come out and say it. It's just some parents filed a complaint about your children. Um... Oh, goodness me. It's nothing serious, and a bit funny. To file a complaint about a ten-year-old boy. I mean, all boys fight, right? <laughs> They're tough and they get into fights. It's normal. But you must talk to them. Well, what shall I do? They fight because they're bullied. Neoda. Uh, well, may I spend some time and play some sports with them? Boxing. It'll help with their boredom. We can do it right at the station. Yes, of course. What I meant to say is... Uh, it's my dream to get them out of the street somehow. Thank you very much. Sure thing. We have a deal then? Deal. I'm at work all the time, and my brother is at work as well, and they're always on their own, you know. Uh, and what do you do on Sunday? On Sunday? Mm hmm Well, just some domestic chores. Maybe we could go to the movies with the kids? I just want to, to get to know them better. And then maybe we can go to a cafe after. <laughs> oh, Yuri, gosh. Because of your job, you probably know the reason why boys fight. You must understand it's natural. Well, I can play with the boys and we'll go to another town so nobody will see us and then I can drive you. <laughs> I don't know. I'll take that as a yes. See you soon. Good night then. Have a good night. Be careful with your ice cream. No, Don't you have sore throat? Well, in any fine. case, may I taste it? I have no interest Tell in me, ice is cream. is it tasty? I'm Mom, already moldy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get Ooh. a strike. Oh. No, it wasn't a strike. Well, just try again. Maybe this time? Come on. Take it. Oh, no, thank you. Throw it. Come on, come, come on, on, come on, now. Hit strike. Hooray! Yeah. <laughs> do you remember? Do you remember no, when, he, when he lifted he the lifted car the and turned it yeah. over? Do you like his iron fold arm in that case? I would like to return the money to you. No way you take it. I live alone, so I don't need much money. I... I can support my children, and my husband sends me money. Will you take it? Your husband helps you? Drop it, would you? He sends you nothing. I'm a police officer, and I know. Nyota, would you just take it for the boys? to town and to the movies. Go and wash oh, your hands. Now. Hello. I'll go and wash up. Sasha, I'll explain everything, but pretend that it's all right. I'll be right back.
Well, I'll pick them up from school twice a week. They can do their homework there as well. Thank you so much. That's very nice. Listen, I'm only helping out because I really want oh, to. Oh, yeah. Well, thank you very much for everything. Muta, you don't have to walk this far. I'll see you later. No, I'll accompany you. To the gate, though. It's right there. Well, it's up to you. They'll spread rumors. I don't care, but you might. Well, yeah. It's not good for me. <laughs> See you later. Okay, thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, Nyuta. Girl, I'm glad I caught you. I'm closing up for lunch. I really need to talk to you. What happened? You disappear and suddenly you want to talk? Well, listen to what I'm gonna say. You better divorce Semyon. Marry that police officer while he's ready. Don't you see what kind of person Semyon is? Mind your own business. The children want their father. As for Semyon, despite what people say... Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. Nihara, Good afternoon. I brought uh, the paper for you to sign. The case is closed. I am on lunch. It'll only take five minutes, and then, if you want, I can I can give you a lift. And then everybody will talk about us? I'll drop all that. Who will talk? <laughs> okay, my dear, I'm off, but carry on with your civil duty, then. Goodbye. Come in, and I'll close the door. With Semyon for 11 years. I can't say anything bad about him because we've lived as everybody else lives. What shall I tell my children now? Well, the first time I saw you, I immediately understood that I was falling in love with you. I was even afraid to enter the shop. What shall I tell my children now? I was actually glad when the shop was robbed, since I could officially come to you every day to see you, you know? My children are waiting for me for lunch. I'll give you a lift. I can't look at you. You exhaust yourself for nothing. I don't care to talk to you. That's right, I've had enough. Enough, huh? Enough? Who are you? A wife? A single mother? Or someone else? What are you waiting on? I don't understand. You were ten years old then. And everybody said, you don't have a dad or a mom anymore. Did you know that, Sasha? You knew it. So why did you check the door when someone knocked? Did you wait for them? You did. You shouldn't tell me what to do. I'm the only mother here.
My dear, I'd like two cans of Sprats, please. Verka, I've already told you that I only have one box of Sprats, so only one per person. But I take them for Shurka as well. Well, Shurka can go and get it on her own. You're not at home. Stop giving commands. Okay, I'll give them to you, but tell Shurka not to come for them. No, that's she 1, won't. 1,300. Oh, my God, that's a lot of money. So, I have 1,300 right here. And a hundred rubles more I owe Thanks you. Thanks for remembering. I appreciate oh, it. I'm glad. Goodbye. Who's oh. next? Oh, Tanya, what do you need? I just need a bottle of vegetable oil. Well, I hope you brought exact change. Mm -mm. Listen, everyone, I don't have any change. Well, I'm not a bank, you know. Where should I get change? I've been in line forever. Sorry for your troubles. Maria, hello. What would you like? Yuta, I'd like two loaves and keep the change. Oh, that's perfect. I need change. You better not uh -huh. close the shop without serving me first, lady. No, I'm not going to close the shop until I serve everybody. Ludmilla, what do you need? I see. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello, you two. Hello Come on in. <clears throat> That'll be 75, end? please. Oh, well, look who's uh -huh. there. You are just like an insect. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. It's three meters bigger than you are, you know. Give it to me. I need a treat uh, for myself. Uh, and I'll take it off your hands for uh, you, okay? Please give it to me. No, go get your own. This one is mine. By the way, I knew you were going to ask for it. I don't have another fur tree. Oh, my I'm God, just here. go We've away. only ordered sparkling oh. wine. That's it. Oh. And we only have to take it. Marinka, my dear, why don't you invite me to your wedding like a real nice girl? Oh, uh -huh. I'm afraid that Pavel's doors are too narrow in his house and you won't fit. <laughs> come on. <laughs> but you come never on. know. We might have some extra space for you and you can come. By the way, I would be nicer. I am the main creator of all your happiness. You can come, you can come. We would be glad to see you. <laughs> oh, thank you for inviting me. I'll certainly be coming now. Uh, oh, they have invited me. Listen, Yuri, why you playing the fool? Know you want to move, so get up off the van, man, huh? <laughs> why do you hide in the corners like mice? The whole village laughs. Listen, huh? Sasha, this is our business. Well, I'm not against it, I just... Oh. Hand it to me, I got Thank it. Thank you, Sasha. Oh. I'll help you. Okay. Wait... Oh. Uh-huh. Well, is that all? Let's go. Hello? <laughs> Here you are. Oh, you shouldn't. Thank you. <laughs> oh. Oh, I got it. Children, I'm gonna go out with Yuri. There's not a problem. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Wait. Wait, I just need. Oh. No you very much <laughs> I don't know what's happening to me how long are we gonna hide like this well that's good that you're tired of hiding I told you I wanted to live together but you don't want to allow it mm -hmm. you should get a divorce mm -hmm. I know you can't stay while I'm married how could I let you live in my house when my husband's alive out in the world and do you really think it's better to call me once a week for sex? It's no secret for anyone. Come on. You should divorce him. I'm so fed up with all of you. Always divorce and divorce. Should I divorce over the phone? 
I managed to get him on the phone once. And what? Not a word ever again. How could I know that he'd be gone for so long? How many times do I have to tell you? You can file for divorce on your own, Yuta. I'm embarrassed about it all. Like I did it without asking him. As if I was a betrayer. What would I say when I did it? Do you think it's easy? <sighs> Nira, why complicate everything? You torture me and you torture yourself. It's much easier than it seems. Yuri, tell me. What kind of man are you? Why can't you understand me? Are you a man or a coat with boots? Wait, before you go. I don't have time. And don't see me off. I'll go on my own. Well, goodbye. Tree? Oh, look who's come to see us. Huh? Mom, look! Dad has come home to us. Look at what he brought for us. It's so cool, too. Mm hmm. Okay, boys, go to your room and play. Don't you fight, though. What's the matter, Nuta? Sit down. So tell me, my wife, how you have waited for your husband and kept your honor. Did you hear that phrase on TV or something? You trying to distract me? Do you have nothing, nothing at all to say to me? Why have you come here? I wanted to see my family, my wife and my children. Why else would I come? That's such a weird question, Yuta. Why didn't you tell me? I tried to call you. It's not my fault that you wouldn't answer. You could have come by and told me, you know. I don't really care now. That's none of my business. Okay, boys and girls. Let's decide what we should do. Ah, a family meeting, right? Well, that sounds like fun. Come on, then. And? Why won't you bring your new chick to show her to your friends? What? <clears throat> I'm ashamed of you. And the children are here. How could you? Yes, you're right, and I know that. I'm embarrassed that I lied to them. Dad is sending money to us. He's about to come home. I've told lies not only to them, but to myself as well. I've told lies to everybody. I felt ashamed because of you. I won't kick you out tonight. But tomorrow I want you out of here. No problem, I'll go. But you'll regret it later. Hey, Nuta. If you'd handled your brother, we'd have lived like any other couple. What does Sasha have to do with all your faults? You fled from troubles and that's it. But you're free now, and you do as you like. And I want to get divorced, like others do. Can I look at it?
Hey, Gray. Come in if you're here. Don't let the cold air inside. Nyuta! We have company! Nyuta! I'm here, I'm here. Well, this is quite a surprise. Hello there, Yuri. Good afternoon. Oh, I forgot to uh, give presents to the boys. I want you to have it. Please take it. Goodbye. He will come back. Don't worry your pretty head. Why did you come back? Why have you come back, I asked. Go away! You ruined my life and I want you to go away. I beg you, go away, go away, go away, go away! What have you bought today? Oh, I've got a nice cake and also some herring. Look there, a miser has come. Who? It's just him. So he, he decided. Hello to you all. The wedding Hello. And Christmas, Good afternoon. So it looks like. Hmm. We'll just have to see. Hello to all you capitalists. All the best on this day. Three hundred and fifty. Also, two bottles of juice, please. Miyuta, what happened? Did you see yourself in the mirror? You're way too pale. You had better go and see a doctor. I don't need a doctor. Nyuta! I'm hoping they delivered my wine for me. Two boxes are in the storeroom there. Pavel? Uh-huh. Hello, and Happy Hello. New Year. Pavel, they brought the wine and it's in the storeroom. I'll go. What a good way to save money. By combining the wedding and Christmas like they did. And the husband will never forget their anniversary. Nyuta! Oh, Nyuta. Girl, what are you doing here at the shop? Your policeman is going to resign from his post today. He's going to leave you and you have to go to him and stop him. No, I don't care. Nyuta, what are you talking about? Pavel, let's go. Uh -huh. <laughs> Good afternoon.
Look at those colors. It's very beautiful. What a combination of orange and red. And boys, what have we forgotten? Presents, mom. Your presents, exactly. Cool. This is from Sasha and mom too. Look here. Are you ready for this? Who is this one for? This one. This is for both of you. Thank you, Mom. Wow, is this from Uncle Yuri, Mom? Yes, from Uncle Yuri. Yuta! Oh! Hey, we're here! <laughs> oh! Wait, 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 wait. Happy New Year. What's up? Happy New Year. Hello, Happy New Year. Take it for you, for you. Why, thank you. You Enjoy. must have just left the wedding. What do you mean? They kicked me out, so I took Tanya with me because we don't want to spend our time with old oh. people. Okay, then. Let's sit down and eat. No, sis, you have to go. They've been waiting for you, but you don't pick up. I don't want to go. I'm tired, and I'd better spend the time with my children instead. It's late already. Yuta. I should get back to them. It's too late for this. Okay, then. <laughs> 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 Hello? Uh, yes, Pavel. Hi. Happy New Year. Congratulations on your wedding. Diomen? No, he doesn't have my phone number. Oh. Uh, okay, then. If it's urgent, yes. Wait. Wait a second. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. 38? Mm-hmm. Well, thank you. I'm sending my best to you and Marina. Mm-hmm. Hello? Matve, hi. It's Niyuta speaking. Happy New Year. <laughs> I'll put it down. Yes. Please, I need to go to town right now. Please, I need a car right away. I just found out that yesterday, Yuri got stabbed while on duty. I really need to go to the hospital. I beg you. Miss, hold on. Where are you going? Miss, you're not allowed in there. Please don't run. Pavel, don't make a scene. We'll get it all wait, sorted wait. out. Good afternoon. Where, are you going? where did wait, you go? Where are you stopping us? Uh, what's we the have matter? To go hey, that don't way. touch me. <sighs> Yuri. Yuri. <sighs> Miss, you're not allowed to be here. Oh, you scared me half to death. Pavel. <sighs> oh, dear. Yuri, I love you. Yes, I love you. Oh, I love you too. <sighs> Everything's okay. <laughs> Pavel, why are you looking at them? <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Will you marry me? Will you marry me forever? I'm getting that divorce. It only takes a month. <laughs> Just enough for us.
будет улыбнуть горько, будет как 